Good morning. It's Wednesday morning, November the 25th, 2020. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and I'm glad to be able to share some thoughts with you from God's Word today. You know, in Matthew chapter 14, when Christ came to his disciples on the Sea of Galilee in the storm, Peter had an unusual and surprising reaction to this, and he ended up doing something that no human being had ever done before, and that is walking on the water. Of course, Christ did this numerous times during his personal earthly ministry and demonstrated his divine power to his disciples when he did, but no other human being ever did that except Peter. And we read about this in Matthew chapter 14, verse 28 says, when Jesus said in verse 27, be of good cheer, it is I be not afraid. The Bible says in verse 28, Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said to him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And verse 32 says, When they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. And 33, Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of a truth, thou art the Son of God. And we've probably all of us heard messages on this subject before of Peter walking on the Sea of Galilee to the Lord. And, and when he began to be troubled by, when he began to notice the circumstances around him, then suddenly he was afraid and he began to sink. And we've all heard the application that, you know, we just need to keep our eyes on the Lord in difficult times because as long as we have our eyes on the Lord and our trust is in him, we can stay above the circumstances and not be swallowed up by them. And I think this is absolutely true, but it's easier said than done. It's not the easiest thing in the world to be facing the normal pressures and stresses of life and not let them affect us. I think that for the most part, it's very human for us to be affected by such things. And we need to constantly remind ourselves, you know what, this is not a natural uh, thing for me to be being uh, filled with faith and calm, but it's something that the Lord desires for me and provides the resources so that I can be calm even in the midst of a storm and I cannot be distressed, I cannot be worried and carried about with fears even when I'm on the water, out of the boat and on the water, so to speak, and we use this terminology to refer to life sometimes in the midst of difficulties. We're out of the boat, we're on the water. And that's where Peter was. And he was, he was um, in an extreme way, he was affected by the circumstances that immediately assailed him so that he took his eyes off the Lord. And even though he did something that no other human being had ever done before, that is walking on the sea, the Lord rebuked him and said, you know, why are you fearful? I'm here. Don't you know that I'm here? And he'd said earlier, it's I, be not afraid. And Peter just needed to be reminded, you know what, you keep your eyes on the Lord and you'll be okay. You'll be fine. He will carry you through the difficulties of your life. And if you're saved, you have a heavenly father who cares for you. And so we don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be worried when the storms of life come because the Lord is greater than all of those things. Just keep your eyes on him. Just trust him. Keep your confidence in the Lord. The Bible says, cast not away therefore your confidence in Hebrews chapter 10. Just keep your eyes on him and don't worry. Trust the Lord to see you through. And he will and he can. God bless you today.